Hello and welcome to day nine of Coronacation. Day nine, We've, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. eight, nine. Tomorrow, 10. That's yep. going to be a big day. You it excited? Is. Yeah, I am excited. Okay, good. All right, well, um, while we're jumping into today, we wanted to talk a little bit about the Coronacation name. Yes. It's creative, and you've come up with a lot of cool things. We know that you need a break from yes. all of the craziness that is the coronavirus. This is different for all of us. We've, for real. We've never experienced anything like this before. No, and we're just never. trying to roll with it. But even in like this thing, we want to make sure that we're a little sensitive to like everybody out there. Because some people are really battling some illnesses. Yeah. Some people are on the front lines trying to fight this, and they're putting themselves at risk. And so while this is a break for you from being at school yeah. and it's a little bit of a corona vacation, it, it really isn't for everybody. It's not a vacation. It's very serious for yeah, a lot of people. It's real. Yeah. So we wanted to say thank you to some specific people that are out there serving and working. Um, I think of d nurses and doctors, yep. like people being up close with people that are sick. That's really, a big deal. Really anybody that's working in healthcare in yeah, the hospital. Yeah, absolutely. Because that... Where do, the, where do sick people go? For real. They go to the doctors. They go to the hospitals to get care. They get I can't even rooms. imagine working right now in an ER. Yeah. That's insane. And there's people like uh, fire rescue and yep. police officers that are dealing with people that might be sick. Um, even grocery store people. Yep. Like I was in the grocery store and thought, man, this lady, she's sitting here having to work and ring out all these people that might be sick. And so... You know somebody else too? Who yeah. else? Are the kids whose parents work in? Oh, that's a big deal, and that's and, a lot of you. And, so yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you for yeah. like being with us during this time. Um, but like, we love coronation, love being a part of you. Sorry. But we also just wanted to stop and remember, like, this is pretty serious. So, Andrew, to kick off our episode today, will you pray for these different people that are being affected in so many different ways? Absolutely. Let's pray, guys. Cool. God, we we come to you today, and we are just. We are thankful for you. We are, we're, we're thankful that uh, that you know what goes before us and what um, what has happened previous um, to where we are now, and uh, we know that you are in control. And God, we we thank you for um, all the different talents and abilities that you have given us, and and some people like doctors and nurses and uh, healthcare workers. And people that are in grocery stores and and people that are in any kind of service industry right now um, they all have different talents but they're all using them to serve other people who who are sick with this virus right now and who are being affected by this virus and so Lord we just pray that you be with them and that you put your uh, healing hand on the people that they are working with and you also give uh, the workers patience and peace and understanding through all of this because it, it's just there's a lot of confusion and there's there's a lot of panic right now and so I just pray that um, that we don't live in fear and that uh, we remember to not, not just outside of this video we remember to, to pray constantly for these people um, so just be with us as we move forward Lord and uh, continue to be with us as we learn more about your word it's in Jesus name we pray amen amen thank you for joining us today let's check out our first video with my buddy Hudson Hey, it's Hudson Motion. I just wanted to let you know that we're cooped up in our houses this week because of school and stuff. Can't play with our friends maybe, um, doing our work and stuff, but I just wanted to let you know that maybe your parents are like on you about your work and you just should just forgive them. They're trying to help you and just do your best in whatever you can do. I hope you have a great rest of your week. See ya. We're back. Corey, I've been thinking mm -hmm. a lot about this forgiveness thing you know that we've been talking about okay. and I, th I think I figured it out I, I think I got it nailed down good so you're an expert in all things forgiveness now. yes yeah absolutely it's this I mean it's it's so easy like it's just you're gonna be like what haven't I thought of that before okay well why don't you explain it to the rest of us I know we've been talking about it a lot but if you can just bring it down into real simple terms for okay well, all of us to understand. Let's, let's start out by saying it what forgiveness is again, okay together so everybody in the room let's say this together forgiveness, forgiveness is deciding that someone, someone who has wronged, wronged you doesn't, doesn't have to pay, pay. okay yeah. good 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 we've now, talked about this a lot all right, right now all the tall people in the room 
say this. Do, do Forgi- I count as a tall uh, person? Probably. Okay. Yeah, probably. So forgiveness, forgiveness is deciding that someone, someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. pay. Yeah. Yeah, see. But what does height have to do with this at all? Like, why would the tall people repeat it, not the short people? Um, okay, this is where it, it starts to get a little complicated. Let me, let me break it down. Okay. Okay, so, you know, like, when you're a baby? When you're a baby. Yeah, when you're a baby, you're tiny. You're, okay. You know, you're really low to the ground. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah you're, Everyone knows that. Yeah, you're super innocent, kind, you know. You're a baby. You're a baby. You, you know, you give people stuff. You know, it's easy. It's, you know, it's it's just life down there is easier okay and and you you know you start to grow you get taller um you get a little closer to god and so when you're a baby you're far away from god okay the taller that you get you get closer there therefore you become a little bit more like him you don't have to no you don't have you don't do as many wrong things when you get older and taller, so then you don't need as much forgiveness like you do when you're a baby. What? Yeah. So, like, I mean, even as you get older, you know, some people start to shrink a little bit. Like, old people, their mm-hmm. ears might still grow, but they they start to shrink a little bit. Like, their bones compress and stuff. And so, they kind of get back down to where they need more <laughs> forgiveness. So, you're living in forgiveness. So, the, the shorter you are, the further you are away from God, the no. more... You no, really this is this is you're just going crazy. Have what? you not been paying attention at all? Forgiveness isn't about your height, and your height has nothing to do with being closer to God. Wait, so you, so you're telling me that I'm not like I'm not a little bit closer to God than you? No. You think tall people are close to God and short people are far away from Him, and kids are like the worst? Yeah, but they live in more forgiveness that way. It's it's a kind of a win win. Andrew, I thought that you had it finally, but this is not forgiveness. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who's wronged you doesn't have to pay. And yeah. Jesus did this for all of us, yeah. regardless of our height. It wasn't like Jesus was like, all right, all the short people, I forgive you extra because you're short. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, but what about Zacchaeus, Corey? He was a wee little man. He was short. And he needed to be forgiven a he lot. He did need to be forgiven a lot, but not because of his height, because of his sin. Are you Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. You got me confused now. I I don't know. <laughs> I, I think I'm on to something. Okay. Maybe not at all though. <laughs> Can we just check out the next video? Yeah, let's check out that video that's next. Okay. If you don't know me, my name is Zeb, um, and I serve in 456. I'm a worship leader, and I'm the fourth grade small group teacher or leader. Um, Shout out to the fourth grade boys. Um, I know I haven't seen y'all in a minute, but love you guys. Still praying for you and your families. Hope you guys are doing okay. Um, Besides that, um, I just want to take a minute to just, first of all, say hello, and I hope you're doing well, and pray everything's going well with you and your family. And I just want to share a word of encouragement with you that in the book of 1 Timothy, uh, uh, Paul tells Timothy, uh, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind or self-discipline. And I just want to encourage you guys that, um, you know, I know we're living in some troubling times. I know things seem a little rough right now with you being out of school and being at home and that can be a struggle too sometimes and having to go to class online and do things like that. But I just want you guys to remember that you have no reason to fear because you have God living on the inside of you, Christ dwelling in you. You do not have to fear anything because God's giving you a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. So don't worry. I know that's kind of that can be hard too with everything that's going on, but you know, will you ever feel worried? Just pray about it. Ask God about it. He'll give you peace. He promises us that. So you guys stay good and um, hope you're doing well and love you guys. All right, Andrew, I want to play a game called YouTube Showdown. The way that it works is I'm going to throw up two different videos. Okay. And you're going to have to vote which one you think 
has more views on YouTube. Is it the video Great. on the left, the video on the right, and you get to vote and see if you can beat Andrew. They're gonna beat me. They always beat me. To, it's YouTube, though. You're YouTube star on communication. Maybe you got a one-up on them. Oh, there is. That uh, <laughs> they don't stand a chance. Uh, all right, so uh, let's see our first video. All right, let's give it a go. I have a pen. <laughs> I have an apple. Okay. Um, yep. Apple pen. Okay. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, perfect. Yes! That was amazing. That was awesome. Hmm. How can How can you not go with dude perfect? So two. You, two. 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 Yes. Your What's your vote? Lock of it in. Course. Say it out loud. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Andrew is off to a bad start. Only One by like was half. correct. All right. Let's see. Second video. Oh. Who's that? That's uh, what's his name? Justin Bieber. What? Isn't it? Yeah. And Adele. Mm. That's tough. That's a tough one. So, mm. one or two? I'm, I'm gonna go with Justin Bieber. One? I think, it, I think it's Justin Bieber. In your vote, let's see. Let's see. It's. <laughs> You're wrong again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Over oh, two. Here we go. Okay. Oh, you remember when oh, this was a thing? Yeah. Kind of like paused. They're frozen. Okay. These guys, skills dancing. Tucker could redo that video. I bet. Oh, he probably could. All right. So know. which is which is more views? One or two? Let's hope one. That took that took a lot more talent. One. One. One's your vote. Come on. Now, how many views do you think it has? Um, ten million. <laughs> All right, which one is it? One. It's two. Oh my gosh! <laughs> over three. How over did three. That get twenty-three oh, million views. I love playing these games with you because this is legit. His first time seeing it. Zero out of three on a fifty-fifty coin toss. Next video. Oh. Impressive. Asleep. This is good. Oh no, not asleep. Her eyes were open. Is she asleep? I think her eyes were open. She's riding movies. Oh, I know where this one's going. <laughs> Squidward. Alright, which has more views? Sleeping girl? Squidward. 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 Your vote? Squidward. Two. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes! It's real close though. You see, it, oh it's just my gosh. twenty thousand, twenty-three thousand. Right. Over four in a fifty-fifty game. Over four. Video five. <laughs> I like is that. that. Hedgehog is that? Oh, he's so Ooh, happy. Pokemon. What is he eating? Oh, no. <clears throat> All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like that's me with this game. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No. <laughs> oh, um, two. I think it's two. He's going with two. Yeah. What is your answer? Two. Come on. Their answer. It's. <laughs> you. <laughs> yes! Oh, I hope that you oh. are going whatever Andrew doesn't go because you'd be off to a great start. This Five is terrible. videos in. in <laughs> I love babies laughing. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> See, I've seen that in a lot of memes. <laughs> so, oh. oh, it must be windy. I have to go with the baby. I've seen that baby everywhere. <laughs> but you got it twice. Okay, wait, wait. I want to go with the baby, so I'm going to pick number two. So you're going number I'm... two, although... Okay. I'm going number two. <laughs> You were right on your first instinct. Oh, I love it. This is this is. I not... love it. This is awesome. <laughs> did you get it right? It, no, no, he's wrong again. All right, right, let's see our next video. We can only take one pet. Which pet? The cat or the dog? The cat. Oh. Okay. I've seen no. this video. You're the dog. He's the worst. He's already dying. Just leave him. Okay, we will... She okay. thinks it's like apocalypse. Yeah, oh, this is a good one. This is when he punches the kangaroo. Oh, I love this video! Now the dog's coming. The kangaroo is ripped. He just man-punched a kangaroo. Well, protecting the dog. Oh, 
All right. So is it the cat or the, the dog? It's the kangaroo. kangaroo. I am confident on the kangaroo. No. I am confident. What's your vote? Number two, kangaroo. Yes! You got one right! Not allowed. Oh. All right, let's see. I'm sure I'm glad you stopped it because I was going for it. You were excited. All right, you know this one, right? Yeah. Yep. I, I haven't dance. seen this video. <laughs> oh, Chewbacca Mama. I've seen it, yeah. <laughs> I think Chewbacca Mama, too. Are you going to be on a roll, or I'm was probably. it a fluke on the it's last one? It's probably a fluke. All right, let's see. <laughs> yep. Wrong I've again. never seen that video. Wrong again. All right. I've seen the Chewbacca Mama. Last video. one. Here we go. Oh, Phil Collins puppy. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. What's this monkey doing? I haven't seen this video. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, Andrew. Aww. Last one. Are you gonna end on a bang? You you'll get two right, or is it just one and done? Two. I want to go with the monkey. That's You're going to the monkey. Yeah, he he fooled that monkey. And your vote is two. Yes. All right. Congratulations. I hope that you beat Andrew and got more than two in this 50-50 yes. game of YouTube Showdown. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a lot of fun. That was rough. And we will get to see you tomorrow. Yep. Morning, hopefully. And, uh, anything that we need to tell them? Oh, yeah! My <laughs> Sorry, I'm too caught up in losing this game. Alright, we will see you tomorrow! Bye.